everything relies on water. You know, whether you're fish, plants, animal, human, we all need water to survive. We need to start thinking about the source, where it comes from. And in terms of southern Ontario, this part of Ontario, the Oak Ridges Moraine is a, is a real storage reservoir of high quality groundwater. Because groundwater is below your feet, no one thinks about it, it's not in your face, it's very easy to, to disregard it. But there can be huge problems if you don't understand it. It's a fragile system and people don't really fully understand what we have and the value of it. This is very typical of the moraine. It's uh, hamaki topography. You can see, uh, you know, up and down. People say, think of your knuckles. If you look at your knuckle, there's all sorts of knobs um, of sediment in different parts of the moraine. And then there's blocks of ice that get trapped as the ice retreats, and those end up being kettle lakes. They don't have drainage away from them, only into them, and they're, the water all goes into the ground. My name is Steve Hollish. I'm a hydrogeologist. Hydrogeologist has two parts. Hydro is water. Geology is, is the subsurface, so groundwater. So it's like a really complicated puzzle. Trying to put it all together is, is a challenge. I grew up in Toronto, and we used to go to the Humber River. I think of this in uh, retrospectively, but when I was a kid, I always wondered, where the heck does all the water come from in the Humber River? I mean, it was, it it was always surprising to me that it, it kept flowing. Every time we'd go for a picnic with my family, the water was always there. And, and now, of course, as I went through my career, I know how it keeps flowing. It's all groundwater. The Oak Ridge's moraine is similar, serves a similar function to a rain barrel. It holds water, the rain falls on the ground, gets stored in the moraine, and slowly over time it gets released to the streams. Okay, so here, here you could nicely see uh, spring water emerging on the slopes of the Oak Ridge's moraine and flowing into little streams and tributaries like this. And they flow down towards Lake Ontario, towards Lake Simcoe, slowly merge together and then become the big rivers and streams that you see in Toronto and you see in, you know, flowing into Lake Simcoe, the Humber River, the Rouge, the Don, and so on. And so they all start with little tributaries like this. It's all groundwater. The Oak Ridge's Moraine is a, is a really important landform, really important aquifer for this part of southern Ontario, and it, it reflects the last glacial episode that happened in this part of the globe. 20,000 years ago or so, think of a kilometer of ice, or two kilometers of ice, one to, in Lake Ontario, one to the north, they separated. As they separated apart, there was a topographic low, all the rivers laden with sands and gravels would discharge into the topographic low. And that low point now became a high point because that was the focus for the deposition of all the sand and gravels that now serve to promote infiltration of groundwater into the ground. The water percolates through the sand and gravel down into deeper aquifer systems. It moves laterally, it's being driven topographically towards Lake Ontario, towards Lake Simcoe. And as it moves in the subsurface, we drill wells and we can pull that water out as a drink of water supply. All of these homes that you see on the Oak Ridge's Moraine, they all uh, get their water supplies from groundwater. 
25 to 30 percent of Ontario residents use groundwater for their everyday drinking water source. There's a real need for an awareness of, you know, of the fact that many people drink the water that comes out of the ground. Here's another beautiful little lake. Totally beautiful moraine topography here. An awareness of, of where your water supply comes from is, is I think, is, is important just to, to understand that we need water and, and you got to keep it clean. We just have to be, as a society, more aware and more careful on, on our water supplies and, and how we're treating it. Water is life, <laughs> no question. If we're not paying attention to where that water comes from and and how we can impact it, we're we're being negligent. If you think of the Oak Ridge's rain, you know now compared to say if it was to be developed or urbanized, it would the value of it would de depreciate tremendously because the the whole storage. Um, of water within the moraine would be lost. The water would tend to flow off on on concrete or impervious surfaces. The, the, the water table would drop, the springs would dry up. They would just lose all of that value for the ecosystem and for humans. So it would be, uh, be a great loss. So having it preserved in the state that it's in as, as a functioning part of the hydrologic cycle in this part of Ontario is important. The Oak Ridge Moraine is a, it's a tremendously valuable aquifer and it's important that we preserve it for long-term future generations.